your work becomes more of who you are and, and your, you feel like there's some discrepancies in your relationships, it doesn't matter how hard you work, there's gonna, still gonna be this imbalance in your life. And it might be this, and that is, I notice that women have a tendency to find the work to be far more important that's really hard to find a man who's really masculine. It's really hard to find a man who's stand up. Because in other words, is that a woman who's a much better hunter, a woman that makes her work more important than anything else, they usually have a tendency energetically to attract more feminine guys. Guys who don't want to claim them. Because the thing is that energetically, if I, even, I'm just telling you as a man, if I'm with a woman, and not that she has to be like, oh, girly, hi, oh, I'm feminine, and I'm dingy, and I'm helpless. But if I, if I notice that, like, she's like, you know, she, she's approaching me energetically like a business meeting. If I see her, like, put her phone away right away when I show up, and it's like, I'm not really feeling her. To me, that's like me hanging out with a dude. I'm going to be repelled by the energy. I'm not going to be polarized by that. But a woman who can step into that softness, that love, what I'm not. Mm -hmm. that's going to polarize me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean one's better than the other. Mm -hmm. It's just that usually masculine men are not going to be turned on by that. Mm -hmm. They want to take care of you. Not that, I'm not talking about money. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to be able to, they don't, they don't know where they fit. You know, in all the areas you're really good, yeah. you know, you might be better than they are. So it's like, then you might think, okay, well, I, but I'm really good at this. I like this. How's it, how's it flow in a relationship? For, for example, I was dating someone who is really good at her business, and she's a chef. And um, she would always order food for us. And I was okay with that. She knew what she was talking about. So we were at restaurants. She would be the one who was controlling everything. I was the chick at restaurants. Everything else... I was a masculine person. I was okay with that. And so it's in areas where, you know, you have two people come together consciously. It's like where that dances. But where it doesn't work, you'll feel that. You'll fight. You'll feel the power struggle. So when you, um, a few minutes ago, when you were talking about feminine men, mm -hmm. it almost, the way you described it, was almost like narcissistic. Uh, the man being feminine? Yeah, when a man. <laughs> uh, a fe well, here's the thing. Uh, a fem well, there's many ways to describe it, but um, in this case, for example, if a, you know, it might be like the artistic guy. It might be the guy who always has something going on. He's, you, know, you have to comfort him. You, after you get off work, you're comforting him. You're calling her him. You're like, you know, honey, just go out there. You're going to get a job. And mm -hmm. you can, you know, I, I heard some woman the other day saying, oh, was that a work show? It was at this thing I did in San Diego, like last Wednesday, mm -hmm. and she said, "He goes that because why is it that I always feel like I always have to take care of all my men?" Mm -hmm. And I and I said, "You really don't. I mean, if you find the right man, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but she's been more together than the men that she meets." Oh. I'll give you an example, and it is. I remember this. I know my mind went there. I remember uh, I went on this this person that we just became friends like four or five years ago. I remember I was trying to date and her husband was feminine and she was one who was taking care of things and she was like a single mother and all that. I remember it's like going out to a nightclub and she had this really nice jacket and we went to go dancing and I went to take it from her and she kind of pulled back a little bit. I go, nothing's going to happen to it. And I put it over on the side there and she was sitting there dancing. She kept looking at it. I said, I got it. I got hot eyes, and there was that experience where she's like, "This is weird." And it was almost as every time we were doing something, I had to take something out of her hand. I got it, I got it, and she's like, "This is strange." Yeah. I used to have to do this always in a relationship because yeah. I'm not used to a masking guy. I'm like, "Yeah, this is what maybe like masking guys do." That would be an example. Yeah. So I have to learn for myself. For that's, a that's a survival mechanism. Yeah. You're feminine. Mm -hmm. At the core. No, I'm thinking, okay, is that what it became? I became a 
You're not anything. It's a survival mechanism. That means that your way of being is what. Yeah, I know, and we're gonna change that. Hopefully, you leave here. You're gonna find like you know Bond, James Bond. No, I'm, no, I mean, I, no. It's it's this is why you're here, and it's. The, the thing is that it's a survival mechanism. It's not who you are. When you say, this is who I become, it's in there. Like, for example, an exercise, maybe we'll do some stuff here, but if I were to work on it with you on a one-on-one uh, -on -one basis or another workshop, it would be where you're there and you might line, line a floor, you, you're on the ground, you're breathing your body, and you connect to every time you've been disappointed, and men, father, whatever, and your body might start to, to tremble. You start crying. You say, oh, no, I can't cry. Where, when did you stop crying? You go to that place, mm -hmm. to where you release that out of your body so it's not there, so you don't project this energy back onto mm -hmm. men. Yeah. And, the, and when you, you're going through the courtship process with men, they are assessing you and you're assessing them. Mm -hmm. yes. So yes. men who maybe are not interested or don't call you back, that might be someone who's like, yeah, I, I don't energetically know where I fit in this woman's life. I've been out with women who are really masculine and I don't want to change them. Um, and I'm not, not going to coach them, but I know I'm not necessarily drawn towards them. If you're being offered some free tools that could get you unstuck, would you be interested? If so, visit raydoctor.com and receive your free transformational exercises. Imagine starting each day feeling deeper love, a clearer mind, and being able to say to yourself, I really feel good. My clients love these and so will you. Get them now for free at raydoctor.com.